In this video of ASP.NET, we are going to discuss about navigation controls. Navigation control basically help us in navigating through the web pages from one page to another in our website. So for setting the hierarchy means how I want the pages should be connected. First of all, I will define a sitemap file which can be added as we used to add our normal web page in the same way with the, next, the file would be an extension of .sitemap which is basically an XML based file which will contain the hierarchy of pages. Once that particular thing is done, we can just show that hierarchy through various controls like sitemap path or menu or tree view. So let's see practically how to work with these navigation things through sitemap file and then these three controls. So now let's implement the navigation controls. But before getting started with that, I will add a new item on my website that is a sitemap file. For now, I have removed all the web pages from my website. We'll add all the pages later. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll come to add new item. And from here, I will add the sitemap file right here. So the name of the sitemap file is the web.sitemap. So I'll add it. And here, you can see it is the XML based file. So what you will have to do, every sitemap node is basically a page. And at this particular level, we can have only one sitemap node tag, which will be for the home page. And as we know, we can have only one home page in our website. So after that, what we'll have to do, we'll have to pass some page URLs out here. So I'll just continue with the default names of the pages. Right now I don't have any but yes I will definitely add later. So here the default.aspx will be my home page. We'll put a title. Title will be used for displaying that particular page title. And then the description like home page of website. Similarly, this is at this particular level. Now, under the home page, what all page links you want to give. For that, you can come to the sitemap node. And here, what we'll do, we'll simply do the URL, we'll pass the URL of the pages which I want to put under this home page, like default2.aspx with the title, maybe page one, and default. 3.aspx with the title page 2. Similarly, you can put as many as elements at this particular level, which will be shown under home page. Similarly, after that, when you will be done uh, up to this level, you can do the nesting up to any particular level. For example, if I want to put few more elements inside or few more pages inside this, then I will simply do one thing. I will just make it a pair tag. These are the non-pair tags means they are being closed right here. But I will put a different closing tag now. And inside this, I'll put some more sitemap node paths like this with different URL and title. And similarly, up to some more levels like this, I'll put one more tag under this one. So let's copy this and here. I'll say default 8 and 2.1.1. Alright, so like this, you can give the any level of the hierarchy. So let's save it. And here, as I said, like I will have to add eight pages from default to default eight. And by the time we'll start working with the uh, navigation controls, we will have to put the navigation controls in all the pages for the best practice. So rather than adding the navigation controls on all the pages, what I will do, I will take a master page, which I have already covered and will put some controls, the navigation controls on that, which will be applied to all the other pages. So let's add a master page now. So here's a master page, master page dot master. Let's add this. It's not a nested master. So let's uncheck and add. So title, content placeholder, we have already seen all this, right? 
So let's start working on that. And here, right at the top of this content placeholder, I will put the different controls like sitemap path, like menu, and tree view. All right. So these are the three controls which are under navigation controls. So either you can, uh, for menu and tree view, you can add the elements or nodes uh, manually. But here, I will just use my sitemap file. So this is my master page where I have put all the three controls and this is the sitemap. This is the content placeholder which is blank where I will put the content for the coming pages. So let's start adding the pages here. So whenever I will add a page, a web form, I will not change the name because in the sitemap path I have taken the default names. So just be sure you are taking the same names as you have mentioned in the sitemap node. In a good practice, you must change the names of the page according to their job. So I'll select a master page and it'll say add. And now here master page dot master. So let's say OK. And very similarly, I will add seven more pages. So as we promised in sitemap node file uh, that we will add eight pages from default to default eight. We have done that and in all the pages I have applied the master page. So every page would be having these controls. So currently let's remove the uh, tree view and menu control. We'll start with this one. All right. So let's execute. So here you can see home. This is nothing but the sitemap node path. So here you can see home, which is the title of default.aspx and this is the control which we call the sitemap path, which I have added in the master page. So now let's request for the another page like default3.aspx. So here you can see home then page 2. So when I will put the mouse, it will show you the description home page or website which I have set in the sitemap file right home page of the website now default 3 is page 2 which is being shown here when I click here in the home I'll come back to default.aspx similarly let's request page number default 5 so what I'll do I'll say default 5 so home then page 2 then page 2.1 and similarly we'll add default 8 home page 2 2.1 2.1.1 so this is how your sitemap path works you don't have to tell anything as soon as you will add it will just take the value from the sitemap file and will start working now after that let's go for some implementation for the menu so in the menu what i'll have to do is i'll have to go for the smart tag right there and here I'll have to choose a data source basically here I want a sitemap file data source so which is not yet created as I said you can also add the menu items manually but since here I'm uh, using the sitemap file so I will go for that otherwise you can just add the nodes in this menu control so I'll create a new and here I will choose the sitemap file so sitemap data source one say ok and this one is created and now in action as well. So let's execute it. So this is your default page. Now here you can see this full hierarchy is being shown. Home having three pages, one, two, three. Page two again having three pages, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. And again, 2.1 is having one page inside, 2.1.1. So you don't have to put the hyperlinks in all. It's quite easy now to jump on any particular page using these controls. And using the sitemap path, you can just go back to the root. All right. So this is about the menu control. And here, very similarly, you can also work with the tree view control, which will give you a different flavor of a hierarchical representation of a tree. All right. And here you can just uh, expand and collapse the nodes. As I have already taken this sitemap data source, so I can simply just choose that from here. 
and here when I'll run this you see you can just expand and collapse that as we used to do in any tree view kind of control so let's click on any and in that particular page you will be jumped so this is how you can start working with the basic implementation of the navigation controls